Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. If you are new to my channel, I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. Today I have for you guys a full face of nothing over $10. And it is also going to be my first fall makeup tutorial of this glorious, beautiful season. But apparently West Texas ain't got the memo that it's time to start cooling down. It's still hot. That's why I'm in this strappy shirt, but at least it's a fall color. <laughs> I don't know, give me, I gotta get my fall fix somehow. I even painted my nails this color. I'll link it down below the color and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and tie my hair back. I actually have an army green scrunchie, but I don't feel like digging for it. So let's just tie the hair back. And we are gonna go ahead and start priming. So the first primer I'm going in with actually is the Prime Focus Primer Serum from Wet n Wild. This was my favorite back at, in, at one point in time, but then I started to think that it was breaking me out, but now, you know, I just don't know. But yeah, right now I'm breaking out because it's just that time of the month, so we're just gonna rub that in. So I don't know. If I get any other breakouts other than what I got, we know it's this. I actually didn't think that I was gonna be able to do a full face of nothing over $10. But honestly, you guys, like all of this, you can go, except for the lashes, but all all of this, you can either go to Walmart or Ulta to pick up. There's only one thing that we're going to use that you would specifically have to go to Ulta for. Everything else you could probably get at Walmart or Target. Walmart slash Target. Okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the e.l.f poreless face primer now i actually like this one more than the putty primer for pore filling i just feel like for my skin the putty primer didn't do much of anything now i can go in with the photo focus cucumber primer water and just lightly spray I've really been loving using the primer water. I feel like my makeup doesn't quite apply the same whenever I don't use a primer water. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is we are gonna go ahead and go in with brows. So I'm going to take, so I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Micro Brow Pencil. Don't know what shade I got, but it is probably this, a shade down from the darkest shade because it's just how I always buy my brow pencils. And I'm just gonna outline with this one. blend that out just a little bit because I did it kind of harsh like real harsh so I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit okay so the next thing I'm gonna take is my Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade in the shade Deep Brown and I'm just gonna use that on do I have an affordable eyebrow brush so my Pro Fusion eyebrow brush, this is their EB1, and I believe that this is like five bucks, five or six bucks. I have the prices for everything on the screen. So now we are gonna go ahead and prime our lids. So what I'm gonna be doing that with, and I haven't used this in a little bit, I don't think, is my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This little brush right here. I got this brush in an, Am <laughs> in an Amazon set, and I think this set broke down to where it's like a dollar or less than a dollar per brush. So it's still pretty affordable. I think it was like a $17 brush set. Now, I'm gonna try to use this the same way I like to use my Juvia's Place concealer, which is for spot concealing underneath your foundation. So I'm just gonna put that there, and while we work on our eyes, 
we're gonna let that sit there just to test it out. See if I can have something affordable for this process of my makeup. Okay, so the next thing I do want to go ahead and apply are my e.l.f. eye types. I believe these packs are $3 a pack and you get four sheets of 10 and if you cut them in half, then you have 80. Like I've had this same pack for so long, you guys, like I'm barely needing to buy a new pack and I've had this for months, like months. So now that we have applied those, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take, I'm going to be using these two eyeshadow palettes and they're the e.l.f. Bite size, bite size eyeshadow palettes. I have Carnival Candy and Pumpkin Pie. So right now I'm going to go in with Carnival Candy and I'm just going to use this cream shade right here to set all of that down on my lid. To blend that in, I'm going to be using a Wet n Wild blending brush. uploading a video right now for whatever reason is taking so long to upload so I think what I'm gonna throw in my crease is I'm gonna take this shade as my transition color right here and basically I'm gonna be using every single shade except for the blue because I don't think blue is fall I think blue is more wintry so for that I'm going to be taking my Profusion Large Blending Eyeshadow Brush. This is their ES1. Should have brought out my color switch. I remember when those were such a big deal. Everybody was raving about color switches. It's a great idea. But I get lazy within watching, washing my brushes because of it. You guys so I did a no buy for the month of August and then on September 1st it was time to make my choices for my ipsy bag and then they do add-ons and I bought an eyeshadow palette it was only $12.99 though and it was a Zoeva eyeshadow palette it was very very fall like so I had to y'all I just had to okay so the next shade I'm gonna go in with is it this one right here and I'm gonna use another brush from that Amazon brush kit. Like I said, it'll be linked down below, you guys. I think I always have, I think I've linked this brush set a couple of times actually. So I'm just gonna apply this a little bit more precise in the crease, not as high up. Oh, and that was out of the pumpkin pie. Guys, these eyeshadows are everything. Like these little quads make me just wanna own all the quads and nothing else in my collection. Except for maybe my Tati palette. That one can't go. Like, it was such a beautiful gift and a good surprise. And, I mean, Tati, duh. Question, am I just the only one who, like, never knows what's going on in the world, like, ever? Like, I remember my friend was, like, that Pizzagate made, like, a big old like, outbreak on Facebook. But my husband and I aren't on Facebook. And then people were saying that like there's a whole bunch of Tati and Jeffree Star drama that had been going on had no idea about it my sister had to tell me about that but I just feel like I'm always out of the loop like I never know what the crap is going on so this is an I don't know brush so I'm not gonna use that one um BH Cosmetics brushes actually can run you about two dollars a brush when you buy them in the sets so it's a lot at once but once you break down the price you really actually realize that it's pretty affordable excuse so now i'm gonna go ahead and go in with this brown shade right here and basically do the same exact thing but as you can see this brush is a little bit smaller so we're gonna be a little bit more precise and blend out these spots right here and I'm just gonna tap them I don't actually rub what I'm trying to conceal I just tap because I don't I want to keep that product focused on what I'm trying to cover up now I'm going to take an even smaller blending brush and I'm gonna go in with a teensy tiny bit of this red shade here and we're only gonna put this 
right towards the outer corner. And this is a BH number six brush and the other one was a number seven. Now, I can't really tell which one of these is a darker shade, so I'm gonna take this one towards the outer corner, like towards the center of my eye, back this way, and then I'm gonna take this one more towards the inner part of my eye. And I am gonna use a brush for that. Sorry guys, so I'm gonna go in with this Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow Brush, because I don't have anything affordable for this part of my makeup. Ooh picked up that was like two swipes y'all like I literally went like one two okay I'm gonna tap some of that off you do not need to wet these eyeshadows you guys like if you don't want fallout or anything like that sure go ahead but they're so pretty without even being wet these are much better than their bigger palettes, if you ask me. Okay, now I'm taking this shade right here, and we're gonna put that on the inner part. Not a very big difference between the two. Like, there's a difference, but it's not like a big difference, if that makes sense. But now I feel like I should have put the orange one on the inside and the brown one on the outside. Now we're just gonna work our way backwards through the brushes just to blend out those edges. Now I'm just gonna go back in with this flat white one. I'm just gonna go in with the same blending brush and just sweep that underneath my brown bone. Now that we are done with that, we can take the tapes off. So cute. But I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. Okay, so for mascara, I'm gonna be taking my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. We're just gonna do a light coating of this on our top lashes. So for lashes, I'm going to be taking, if you watched my August favorites, you already know, but I'm taking these pre-permed push up lashes in the style 671 from Salon Perfect. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these on off camera and then I will be back with some lashes on. All right, you guys, so we are back with lashes. I feel like that's the fastest I've ever applied lashes. And I took a little bit to get the glue off and make the bland, the bland, the band look brand new. But yeah, we are done with that. We are done with me, the eyes. For the most part, we are done with the eyes. So let's just go ahead and jump in with the face. So for foundation, I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation and I have mine in the shade Cream Beige. So how funny. So I did go ahead and I randomly grabbed a sponge and it ended up being my Wet n Wild sponge and we're just gonna go ahead and use this to blend it out. So what I'm gonna do, because that elf concealer didn't do the best job, I'm gonna just add a little bit more foundation right there. For concealer, as you guys saw, we're gonna go ahead and take the elf camo con hydrating camo concealer. I have mine in the shade medium peach. And I do use very little of this concealer because a little bit goes a really long way. Okay, now for setting powder, I believe you can, all the prices will be on the screen. I need to quit trying to tell you guys the prices because the prices will be on the screen. But I was gonna say, I believe you can get this for six bucks at Walmart. This is the Maybelline Fit To Me Loose Finishing Powder. I have mine in the shade Light, but light is not so light, if you can see that. So just be 
forewarned y'all. Now that we have powdered our face, let's go ahead and go in with our LA Girl Glide On Gel Liner. And this is just in the shade Brown. Okay, and now that we have that applied, let's just go ahead and apply this L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara to our lower lashes. So now that the eyes are done, we are going to go ahead and go in with bronzer and that bronzer that we're going in with is Forever Sun Kissed by e.l.f. I know I have a lot of e.l.f. products in this video, but it's just because like they're like the, their brand is the brand that I have the majority of affordable products. So this bronzer actually reminds me of lot, a lot of the bronzer that is in my favorite video which is the number seven maple bronzer in a maple. So they're actually a very similar tone and color. Sorry guys, once we get to bigger brushes, I don't have a lot of affordable bigger brushes. So this is just the Alamod Cosmetics brush. I'm using, this is their complexion brush. I'm using it for bronzer. I just like how it's angled. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and go in with blush. And I have the blush in the shade Always Cheeky. Mm, but it kind of goes with the eyes. It's not too bad. So let's just go ahead and apply that. And I'm using it. This brush came in that Amazon brush kit as well. I want to buy more brushes like this. I am going to go in with my uh, with my uh, with my Wet and Wild highlighter, and this one is in the shade Golden Flower Crown. This is like their one of their OG original like highlighters that everybody was wowed about with for the longest time. I'm missing there. This is my favorite highlighter brush. I also got this off of Amazon for five bucks. I'll list it down below. But this is my favorite highlighter brush. But I remember that these were like all the rage at one point. Okay, so now for lips, now that we're done with the eyes, I'm going to take my e.l.f. dark brown liner and we're just gonna line and slightly like do all the contour things to our lips just because I want a really pretty fall ombre lip. Okay, so now that we have that on, I'm gonna take a little bit of, just a little bit of this lip in the shade Burnt Red from the Ulta Matte Line. Now, now when I was looking these up, I didn't see either one of these colors still available, but they do still have their Lux, lips, Lux Lipstick Line available for $9 per lipstick. So it is still under $10. I'm sure you can find similar colors. Now I know I did find a similar color for Burnt Red, but Sweet Caramel was kind of a tough one, you guys. I'll try to link down below the most similar one that I can find. Yes, give me all, all of the fall vibes. Just give it to me right now. Pumpkin spice, even though I don't like it, but pumpkin cream cheese muffins, pumpkin cream cheese cupcakes, pumpkin cream cheese my life. Give me some vanilla pumpkin candles. Just, yes. I don't know if I've shown you guys my house yet in a vlog, but 
y'all on like i think it was like august 29th august 30th i decorated my house for fall so i was like you know what because a lot of my fall decor is like football season too so it was like well since it's technically football season and fantasy is starting let me put out my football stuff because it's fall stuff um so funny so for a setting spray i'm going to take the la girl setting spray i believe i found mine for 7.99 at target i believe don't quote me on that but before that sorry i always almost forget to do this step but i do need to go ahead and set down my brows i'm going to use my essence make me brow you guys this little amazing bomb brow gel is only like 2.99 so get it you need it gonna see if brian likes my makeup after this because your girl needs to get taken out on a date because <laughs> she's feeling herself i'm childish anyways let's set our face la girls <laughs> la girl setting spray i'm so embarrassing it smells good I don't use that one that often just because it's kind of tucked in the back of my makeup drawer. So I never really knew how it smelled. Yo, it smells good. And I mean good. All right, you guys. So this is how the makeup look came out. Let me know what you guys think of it. Are you guys super ready for fall? What is the weather like where you're at? But yeah, go ahead and leave that all in the comment box down below. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah!